Hello everybody and thank you for watching once again. Today we're out here on the trap line and we caught us another cat. So this one here, it is a female and it's a smaller cat but it's actually blind too so it's kind of weird but this cat doesn't want to talk. He's just kind of quiet. So this is my smallest cage. This cat actually looks a little bit larger but um, we've inspected her and just, you know, I think she's going to be a cat that can keep on producing for a few years. And we want to have, we want to catch those big toms, not a milk stained female like this one. So we're going to go ahead and let her go um, so she can produce for um, future generations for us to trap. And we're just going to get let her go and we'll see you then. So what I do here is I get my latch and then I'm actually on the edge of a road. There's some culverts, so he's not going to go on the road. Just going to let this cat get on our way. It's kind of dangerous doing this with one hand here. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's a kitty. We're going to go ahead and get the set made, and I'll see you then. This is what the set looked like when I caught that cat, so there's a little bit of... Powder of her cat call in the back, powder of her paste bait, and I've got some Love Potion number no. 9, Mercer Long's Love Potion number no. 9. Good lure for this time of the year, it's breeding season, it's got some gland in it. Then I got a jackrabbit ear back there, and I have a tweeting cat toy, and then I have a piece of feather bow in the back, and a piece of that piece of blue that I use to check the trap if it's up or down. Um, they pull that into the cage almost every time, and they really love that, so that's why I always put that in there. So this is with the Outside of the set, set looks like just a whole bunch of creosote branches. The edge of these two washes here, some culverts, and then some mountains and a road over there. So that's kind of what the set looks like. And we obviously caught a cat, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna go back on down the line, and maybe we've got something else to show you guys. Guys, yeah, this is the first time my trap has been down all season. This double door, and I think there's some. Oh, there's a cat in there. Got a bobcat. Looks like a good sized cat too. My first double door catch. That is so awesome. I do not know what to say. Man, I just set this trap up pretty recently. And we caught us a double door cat. Oh man, this is so exciting. So this is one of Mercer Long's Camp Trip Cage double door traps. And um, it certainly paid off with a nice looking bobcat. <laughs> This is the second day it's been in. This cat looks smaller compared to the trap just because it's such a big trap. It's like 48 inches long by 10 inches wide and 22 inches tall. I think that's the dimensions. Oh man, I'm so excited. We caught a nice looking cat. This is the 29th of January. We caught us a nice looking cat. So we'll go ahead and get him dispatched and we'll see you then. <laughs> Guys, I just want to show you guys this location. So here's the trap uh, where the cat is and what I did with it, I put this little this flag right here on the outside so they could, you know, see it from this side of the wash and then they're obviously going to come through here and then they could go here really easily but it's on the um, edge of a road here, there's a culvert coming through and they can see that little piece of blue and then they just kind of get attracted to that spot, they smell the lures and they just walk right through and obviously they get caught. So. We're gonna go ahead and get this cat dispatched, and we'll see you then. Okay guys, so we got him dispatched. I'm gonna open up the door here. Be careful, just so I don't get eaten up. And open the door, like so. He was actually a tom, and that's a nice looking tom as well. Beautiful spots, beautiful belly. Another beautiful Arizona cat. Okay, I'm on the edge of a road here, so I don't want, um, People to know what I'm doing. He's got some really nice looking spots this cat does. Uh, this is my first ever double door cat. I'm gonna put him under the culvert so no one knows what I'm doing. Beautiful, beautiful cat. So, I'm so excited for him. We're gonna go ahead and get the set remade and we'll see you then. I'm gonna show you a quick video here of the remake. This is what it looked like when I caught the cat. There's a little bit of blue right there, and what that does is it draws the cats in from over there, over there, or wherever they might be. They can just get drawn to a single area. And then here's the uh, trap area itself. You can see this little tweeting bird up there in the back. And then I got some jackrabbit meat and a little bit of tinsel, Christmas tinsel or whatever it is. Uh, the flies are all over this thing. 
It's actually very hot today. But then I got some Cage Magic lead scent, probably the best lead scent I've ever got, and it definitely is really effective and probably a must have for a double door trap. Um, then I put some stepping sticks. I don't usually put stepping sticks in traps, but uh, since this is a double door, it's a little bit different. Got that gap there, so instead of stepping on that gap, step right over it and right into the sweet spot of that pan there, so that'll make sure it fires. Um, basically the same thing on the other side. Uh, more lead in scent goes through the middle of the pan. Uh, put all the lure outside the cage trap, like not, you know, not outside up here, but I put it like right in there, so they can't obviously get to it any other way. But it'll also make them work at it a little bit more to hopefully inter get interested enough and, you know, eventually step on that pan and get caught. So, pretty awesome setup. Very great cage traps. And we just caught a 21 pound Tom. Really, really, really nice cat. So, I'm more than happy with it. And we caught our first cat in the double door. So, let's go head out on the line and maybe we got something else to show you. And, yep. <laughs> You guessed it. We've caught us another bobcat. I think this one's a tom. It looks really large. So our fourth cat in this cage trap, if you've been following the series, you already know that, but our fourth cat, we've caught, um, if this is a tom, it'll be our third tom in this cage, and we caught one female two weeks ago. And you can see right next to some um, livestock here, there's some chickens, some ducks, and even some turkeys out here this cat was trying to get. So it's a pretty good sized tom, actually, probably maybe 17, 18 pound cat. So not a bad size Tom, but not like the big one we caught a few weeks ago. He was 22 pounds, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get this cat dispatched, and I'll see you then. Hey guys, so here's the turkeys. This is a big old gobbler. And then we got some goats, and the chickens up in the, the coop there. And right next to that is the cat. It's awesome. So we got the cat dispatched, it's another Tom. So this is cat number 17 for the year. Another big Tom. It's got a pretty good belly on it. And I would say probably 17, 18 pound cat. Um, but yeah, definitely a threat to these turkeys. I think this turkey actually had some feathers taken out of it by some bobcats. I'm not sure if this one or another one. But, uh, so yeah, we need to get rid of these bobcats because that's what they've been doing. They've been trying to eat this rancher of turkeys and chickens and ducks and, you know, anything else. Because that danger with these bobcats this close to the animals. So, we're going to go ahead and get this out made and I'll see you then. So guys, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And whether or not you do that, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.